There was a time when Apple was about to go bankrupt, but now it has become one of the richest companies in the world. It is only a matter of time until Apple completely takes over the tech world and leaves everyone behind with its fast-growing technology. Apple is currently worth $2 trillion, which actually is quite a lot. But where does all this money come from? And how does Apple manage to stay on top of its competition? Well, watch this video until the very end to find it all out. How Apple Really Makes Money Apple has taken over the tech world and its iPhones are among the highest selling phones that have now become a symbol of class. It was recently announced that Apple is now finally worth $2 trillion and could hit the mark of $3 trillion at any given time. Though the company did surpass the worth of $3 trillion, it was very brief, and Apple drifted back to $2 trillion for now. Since then, the growth in the company's profits has been pretty steady. Everything from phones to laptops and AirPods to watches all play a key role in increasing the sales of Apple. When it comes to value, iPhone certainly stays on top. With its sales surpassing the mark of a billion, Apple actually sells its products to everyone from small businesses to consumers directly, so it uses all the platforms for the sales of its phones. But its gadgets aren't the only thing that Apple gets profit from. It does have different subscription services like iCloud and warranty extensions that help Apple generate a whole lot of money. Things weren't always like this. And no, Apple wasn't on top of the industry two decades ago, so much so that Apple was actually on the verge of bankruptcy. The money that Apple made in such a short time is very surprising. The biggest reason why Apple is making so much money is that they have a foolproof strategy. Steve Jobs didn't just rely on licensing his products to earn revenue as Bill Gates did. Instead, he took a whole different route and started selling hardware products. Licensing cannot give complete control to the manufacturer over the product, but making a device in hardware form gave Steve Jobs the kind of control that helped him improve his manufacturing with every passing day. Apple also kept in mind that if they wanted to charge a premium amount for a phone, then they had to be better than all the phones available in the market, or else why would people pay more to get the same quality? So they improved their products by keeping a close eye on the competition. Apple introduced features and software that no one had heard of before, and it made the premium price of Apple worth it. Apple didn't immediately succeed with this strategy because in the 90s, people weren't ready to pay more for a Mac computer that did everything that a regular computer did. So Apple didn't really make waves in the computer market back then. But this was just the beginning, and this video vision of focusing on hardware products and optimizing them with software integration was going to help the company become the biggest name in the future. Apple then came up with its iPod, and though a lot of MP3 models were already available, Apple prioritized the quality of its product and ended up taking over 78% of the market with just one device. Apple didn't just pop up and release a device, but it made something that was easier for people, and that made navigation easier. It is the very reason why people started going for the iPod instead of the traditional MP3 players. Apple also synced the devices with iTunes, so at this point, the company was offering both hardware and software services. And this is exactly how Apple took over the industry slowly and gradually. It wasn't just one device or software that resulted in the rise of Apple, but it was years of optimization and work that went into it. Now the sales of Apple grew quite a lot because of its iPod launch, and it saw the biggest growth curve from 2001 to 2007 as people were finally willing to pay more to get premium services. The company's growth growth rate hasn't stopped ever since, and the company now makes a profit of anything from 25% to 100% every year. But this was just a start, because Apple had to create an environment where each one of its products became a crazy success. And if you think about it now, you'll realize how every launch of the iPhone turns into a victory for Apple, and how its sales increase with every new model. Things weren't this simple back then, so Apple thought to release a product that would completely take over the market and increase the revenue like never before. That's when iPhone was launched, the most profitable product for Apple and the device that made the company what it is today. Soon came the iPad, and its release also made history, making Apple one of the biggest companies in the world. Apple soon introduced its watches, which have quickly become a status symbol. These watches also helped the company make loads of money. In 2019 and 2020, the sales of the Apple Watch increased by 40%, and it contributed a lot to the overall revenue of the Silicon Valley company. When it comes to AirPods, Apple tried to be a little diverse and optimized the technology in AirPods. These AirPods were able to operate while being connected to iOS and Android both. It is the very reason why the company was able to sell about 100 million pairs of AirPods in 2020 alone. Another steady product for Apple is the Mac, which brings revenue of billions every year, and it is why the companies keep coming up with newer versions of the MacBook. But it isn't only about revenue because
because Apple does offer premium devices with greater software services, so people actually feel like it's worth all the effort. By this point, you already know that Apple has its own operating system and isn't dependent on any other partners for technical purposes. The company survives and grows by innovating its products. Apple also offers multiple platforms to creators and viewers, so when you watch something using Apple TV, you would obviously have to pay for a subscription, and this fee is just the money that Apple is making by offering you a service. A big reason why Apple makes so much money is also because of its wide chain of stores. Apple actually makes its products so accessible that no one has to go through any hassle to get them. There are hundreds of retail stores by Apple around the globe that are made according to its retail strategy. These retail stores don't just sell hardware devices, but different accessories and software that pair perfectly with these devices. But no matter what, it is pretty clear that Apple generates about 66% of its revenue from iPhone, according to the reports in 2015. Apple promotes its service-based products more because the gross margin of services is comparatively more than the hardware product. The company has decided to stick to the service-based products because they offer great stability to Apple and people subscribe to these services every single month. But if you buy a hardware product once, you probably aren't going to buy another one next month, right? So that is why Apple is introducing newer services like Apple News and Apple TV, for which you have to buy a subscription and only then can you get access, much like Netflix. The gross margin continues to increase as Apple introduces its newer services. Experts predict that in the future, the revenue from these services will surpass the revenue from iPhone and Apple will become a service provider company. But we know that Apple won't quit making iPhones because that is the backbone of their revenue for now. The biggest market for Apple is the US, and the company pays a lot of attention to continue infiltrating and conquering this market. But when it comes to Asian countries, Apple doesn't really do that well there. However, it is being reported that for the past couple of months, the sales of Apple have been increasing in Asia too. Apple will soon be introducing a tap to pay service to its users where they would be able to make payments without Stripe or any other hardware. It will be yet another great addition to the services of Apple. So Apple has a very straightforward business plan. It makes money from anywhere and everywhere. It focuses on software and hardware both and also has certain accessories and wearables that add a lot to its revenue. When in such a competitive market, it is difficult to keep up. But Apple has gotten quite a few strategies up its sleeve. While the rest of the world is relying on Android phones, Apple has developed a new and better operating system for its users that makes them think they paying so much money is actually justified. Apple stays on top of its game by taking control over its gadgets, so even if you bought an iPhone one time, you'll still be paying for different apps and programs. So Apple will continue to earn. It is completely different from Android business models that just sell you the device and the chain ends right there. It is the very reason why any Android phone hasn't been able to compete with the profits of Apple. The company knows how to generate revenue from each and every launch, and its app based services are going to be an absolute holy grail for revenue in the future. Apple also takes the lead in marketing because almost every celebrity and influencer uses an iPhone, making people feel as if they need the device. So the iPhone continues being sold and Apple consistently stays on top. After all of these years, Apple has built an image that no matter what product it offers, that'll be the highest quality. So this trust makes people recurring buyers of the company and Apple makes money even from that trust. But it is justified because the products actually are good and it is because Apple doesn't release 10 cell phone models in a year. In fact, they hardly come up with one iPhone in a whole year. So people know that it took a lot of work for Apple to make improvements to the iPhone and they end up purchasing it. Releasing limited new models also enabled Apple to gain control of its manufacturing and keep a close eye on the quality of its products. It is pretty clear that Apple doesn't just spend its millions of dollars on overcrowding the market, but it comes up with a well-rounded product and earns billions in return for its millions. That's how it works and that's exactly how Apple has managed to earn money all this time. The company has learned not to be completely dependent on licensed products or the sale of devices. Apple is slowly becoming a service-based business, which actually is the future of the business industry. So far, it seems like Apple does have a plan, and it will most likely innovate its products for more profits. But above all, it will use the services to generate more revenue and will certainly introduce newer services. So the strategy of money making by Apple isn't just complex, but is very tangled. It earns money from all the services and products that it offers. So what are your thoughts about Apple slowly becoming a service-based business? Let us know in the comment section. Also, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell icon to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, adios from our side.